Girl, I was trying to do the Adele winged eyeliner because hers is on point, but I can't achieve that. And I just don't like my makeup, so just don't look at me that close. Hi guys, and welcome to a new Snapchat video. You guys have been begging me to do a third one of these, so that's what we're gonna do today. Oh, and by the way, my new hair color, yeah, it's darker, it's like a cherry brunette, and I am getting used to it, it's very hard because I have very pale skin, and so just like matching lipsticks and makeup with this hair is like a little difficult for me, and just like totally different, not as difficult, I guess, just different, different. But enough about me, let's go through my Snapchat because there is a lot, and it's 10.30, at night in LA on a Sunday. I don't know how you guys are awake. You should be going to school tomorrow maybe or work. This is from NERA098. We're gonna start with this person. Hey Kat, I'm just wondering what inspired you to do music and why are you so passionate about it? By the way, I love you and I love your videos. Music or makeup? I don't do music but this probably won't get in. It did get in. But um, for makeup, what inspired me was I did face painting for children and it was my cousin actually who I did her face painting at birthdays and she really inspired me and she still to this day I paint her face whenever I get the chance to. Lee Queen Georgia Lee. What's your go-to makeup company? By the way, love your videos. My go-to makeup company, it's so mixed right now. But I would have to say Maybelline because I really like their foundation and their mascara and just a lot of them. They have great brow stuff. I know it's a drugstore brand, but I love Maybelline. Pierce17 says, favorite American Horror Story character? I've been watching American Horror Story because I've been recently sick with a respiratory infection and I was going crazy because I couldn't make videos and I'm like what can I do let's watch American Horror Story everyone says it's so good and I saw the first season so I'm like let's start up with that second season like so late in the game but it is so good my okay I can't pick one I have to pick three number one is Jessica Lang I mean oh my goodness this woman can act beyond belief she is like my queen of this show she is so good she could play very well done evil she could also make you feel bad for that evil demented creepy crazed person and like she could also do sweet really well but it's like conniving sweet and just everything she does I love another person Sarah Paulson she is so so good I love when she cries I don't know her eyes when they cry when she was like the two-headed twin in the circus freak show just like whenever she cries I like feel it deep in my soul and her eyes are beautiful and the third person I'm looking at the IMDB thing because <clears throat> there's so many good ones Lily Rabe I know it's all women but I loved her in the coven and she was so good in the Saiyan Asylum season which was my absolute favorite season of all of them so far although I just started the hotel one with Lady Gaga and it just just today, right before I filmed this. Ali Fla, Fla Hive 8. What's your favorite perfume? I got not only one, but two. Okay, this is from Victoria's Secret, The Sexy Escape Paradise. This was like two years ago, one summer they sold this. I don't think they sold it anymore, and I knew it was gonna be limited, so I got two bottles. And it's like very beachy and like everyday daisies with like sands. I don't know how to explain this. It reminds me of like sandalwood sands with a lot of daisies in like very daytime and my favorite one that's kind of nighttime but I use this like that's every day it's just joyful happy cat when I want something to make me concentrate and it's like businessy and kind of nighttime I use Toka Stella's perfume I got this at Anthropology. I think they sell this at Sephora too this one was a little bit pricier and I mean goodness this packaging is like secret garden fantasy delicious gorgeousness it reminds me of the pumpkin from cinderella too and so yeah those are my two favorite perfumes such a good question next person on snapchat this is from fettuccine 84 hey cat just wondering what your go-to things are to help your anxiety because i need some help girl this is such a good question. I organize like a mad person, not like OCD levels, but I will be up till four in the morning organizing my entire closet and like doing laundry really helps and just like anything that has like sense and touching tangible objects and putting them in a certain place because since I was a child, I've had anxiety since I was four years old, really bad. It's gotten a lot better since then. I would cry every day. It was a whole ordeal and I wouldn't want to go to school. 
I would actually have books and not read them as much as I would organize them into patterns around the floor of my house. I was like crop circles insane type person when I was a child. But now, yeah, I like to organize and like light a candle, listen to music at the loudest level. But that really, really does help me in going for a walk, listening to music. Music? like a drink with like something that has a sense in it, like food or like a smell while I'm doing something of organizing. That really helps me. Talking to friends who also deal with an anxiety who don't happen to ha be having an anxiety attack while you are having one, that's great to talk to them too. This is Tiffany May. Are you working on the makeup industry right now? Love you and your videos, Kat. Me and my five-year-old watch them together. She loves your transformation videos. Thank you so much. And I would love to like say hi to your five-year-old and tell her thank you so much for watching. And I have been working in the makeup industry, dabbling it a little bit. It's very hard to work in Hollywood while um, trying to do a YouTube channel. I've been trying to juggle both. I recently did uh, that Paramount Studios thing that I upload to this uh, YouTube channel. That's half of the work I did that day. Yeah, that was a lot of fun and that was like one of my first times actually working for a studio company and it was incredible. I've done stuff with Seventeen Magazine before. I've done stuff for like the convention Comic Con thing if that's industry work considered. I've done a lot of stuff like for individual companies outside and with YouTube. CG Violet says so, since I have this face mask on my face right now, I'd like to know, what's your skincare routine? I have very sensitive skin, so my skincare routine is Cetaphil Face Wash, and I use um, CeraVe Moisturizer Lotions are my favorite. I use their body butter at night, and during the daytime I use their, like, well, body lotion if I don't want that much moisture and on my face as well and I use like a mint mask like the drugstore cheap like green ones f for like once a week maybe and I do like a scrub body scrub that's like an all-natural one on my body and a little bit on my face sometimes but that's about it I don't do that much because I have very very sensitive skin knowledge nerd asks Hi Kat, I've got a hard one for you. If you had to wear one lipstick for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Oh my goodness. This is crazy because I've been wearing it a lot this month. Maybe it's just because this month, but Ofra's Cosmetics Miami Fever with the Kathleen Lights YouTube collaboration, that color is on point. So good. I could wear that as a glam and every day, lightly. Just, I love it. And Twirl asks, Hi Kat, so I want to know what is your absolutely favorite makeup product ever? Like, what is your must have product? Yeah. Brows. I've got to have my brows done. Um, my absolute makeup favorite. That's so hard. Brow product. I really like Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz because you can draw on individual hairs, but then I do set them with the benefit like brow gel. The Maybelline Drama Gels, the drugstore dupe for that. So, the Brow Wiz, I guess. I love Tomo the Tomoyo. Hey, Kat. Sorry, I have a brow retainer in, so I sound really weird. But if oh, you no could play any instrument, what would you like to play? Thanks, I love you. I would love to be able to play the piano. I've thought about the guitar, but I have bad memories of trying to learn the guitar from my dad when I was a kid, and I got so frustrated. We got so many fights, and like, I'm terrified of the strings coming off and hitting me in the face. I know that sounds really crazy and weird, but I absolutely love the way a piano sounds and feels when you play it, and I'm terrible at playing piano, but I wish I could play the piano so bad and sing. Can I have both those singing and piano? Haley Berry 3 asks, I love you. Can you finally be my BFF? Yes, I can. CC Craig asks, what's my favorite restaurant? Oh, Cheesecake Factory. I know it's a chain. I know it's not unique, but I love all their food and I can't have cake. So cheesecake's one of the greatest things. I just can't eat the crust because I'm allergic to uh, wind, air, fire, and life. <laughs> Jade L-Y-N-C-S. Um, I'm not going to show you what she said because I accidentally already saw it, but it was uh, how does it feel to be allergic to everything. Um, it really does suck. I don't remember if you asked me what I'm allergic to, but I think I've said this before. I'm allergic to wheat, rice, flour, barley, um, like straight up milk. I can't drink straight up milk like in my coffee or anything. And I'm allergic to like a lot of laundry detergents, lotions, deodorants, 
And yeah, even if I sleep in someone's shirt, borrow their shirt and sleep in it or sleep on the wrong blanket, I will break out in rashes that will bleed. And it's very like hurtful and painful if I do it for too long without realizing it. And it sucks, but not the worst situation you could have. There's so many people who are dealing with such greater problems in like medical wise. And as long as you have your health, that's all that I'm grateful for. Like I can still go outside. I can't go outside and run anymore. My allergies are so bad with like um, this the pollen and airborne things and like stuff in the soil I'm even allergic to. There's just so many greater things that I am like doing in my life and it just like motivates me and pushes me more to keep doing things and if anyone suffers with like daily or just like in your life you have a lot of medical issues I totally understand I have to go to the hospital like once a month now with some sort of allergy attack I have but you know what everything is okay and it could be a lot worse and if you make the most of it, that's all you could do. I should live in a bubble. Sometimes I joke about that. I definitely should. I think about it sometimes, but you know what? I don't like feeling like a burden or having too much attention on me and having that definitely does feel like it because I have to be careful what I eat. As long as you have a positive attitude and try your best, that's all I could ask for. Let's go on with another snap. Savannah D. Hey Kai, I love your videos. I think you're so talented, so relatable, so Thank sweet. You. I just wanted to know what are some of your favorite Lush products? Bath bombs, soaps, shampoos. This is such a good question. Okay, they have this thing called sandstone. It has like blocks of like lotionizing stuff in it and it's sand in it, which is really weird at first. It took me like a couple tries to really understand it, but it gets off body paint very well and it's like a light exfoliating. You don't have to really put lotion on after the shower. And another one that's a lot more rougher exfoliating if you really don't want to put lotion on after that shower and just like skip that whole step. Um, they have this one called Buffy and I really love the, um, what's that bath bomb that smells like Apples. It has a little BAM note in it. I'll probably put the text of it right here. I don't. Fizz banger. Fizz banger. The bath bomb fizz banger. Haley, hey, he, he, he says, "What's your weirdest talent?" I'm very good at like giving massages. I know that's very odd, but like I give the best massages. I won't massage your feet. Ew. No. I will massage your back and your shoulders. Charlotte thirteen O M G says. Hope I'm in your video. You are. Barbara Girl 1995 says, What's your favorite chapstick and why? P.S. I love you. My favorite chapstick is the rosebud salve in the tube, not the little like tin thing that you rub with your fingers. It's gross. So that is the end of our Snapchat number three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please follow me on Snapchat. It's just at Cat Sketch so that you can know when these videos will pop up. It's like usually a surprise whenever. I will try to do it every other week or so. I'll try my best. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. What I would like to know is what is your favorite chapstick? Because I'm obsessed with chapsticks and I always need them because I got like a big set of lips and I feel like I need chapstick spray sometimes. Like especially in the winter time, we need to know these chapsticks. And I love you all and I will definitely see you soon in another video. Bye!